come spend the week with me in the city of Cologne. We just finished church and it's now time to grab some dinner. The sun sets pretty quickly here, so by the time we got off our train, it was nighttime. We went to a Vietnamese restaurant and everyone at my table ended up ordering pho. It was nice to have a warm meal on a cold night, but I wish I had ordered steamed bean sprouts. Once we finished our meal, we were craving something sweet, so we came to a convenience store and got some ice cream. There were a lot of options, but I ended up grabbing this one. Some of my friends had to carry the instruments they played at church. One thing I seriously love about this city is how walkable it is and how accessible the public transportation is compared to the states. After a little more walking, we arrived at a hotel because there weren't any cafes big enough to fit all of us, so we ended up treating this like a cafe. And after chit-chatting for a while, we went home. Today's a new day, which means we're at a new place. Thankfully, this place had enough room for all of us, so we ordered some drinks. I ordered a hot chocolate, as many of the other people did. The vibes at this restaurant slash cafe was pretty nice. We were getting pretty hungry at this point, so we went to a sushi restaurant, an all-you-can-eat sushi restaurant, and had dinner. A couple of days later, I was craving sushi again. I wasn't able to eat as much as I wanted to the other day, so I made a reservation for my friends and I to eat at this revolving sushi restaurant. It was around 32 euros per person for a 90-minute time frame. I was actually pretty excited because it was my first time at a revolving sushi restaurant. I ended up digging in a little before my friends arrived because their train stopped and they had a 25 minute delay. The staff there were all Japanese, so I got to practice a little bit of my Japanese knowledge. And then my friends thankfully arrived safely and we started to dig in. I also wanted to get that effect of all the plates stacked up like you see in those mukbang videos but our waitress kept taking them away, which is totally fine. As you can see, this restaurant mainly serves sushi rolls, but thankfully the sushi chef brought out some salmon, which is my favorite, and so I had to dig in, and I think I may have had one too many, because I was so full afterwards. If you ever plan on coming here, I would definitely recommend making a reservation, because by the time we were leaving, the restaurant was packed. Despite the food being on the saltier side, I had a wonderful experience and we ended our dinner with some matcha green tea ice cream, which you can never go wrong with. Welcome to an IKEA in Germany. Actually in Germany, they call it IKEA, so for the sake of this video, I will be saying IKEA instead of IKEA. I love IKEA in general, so I had so much fun just walking around and seeing what they had. The only different thing about this IKEA was that everything was written in German, and they also had some Christmas decorations. I think IKEA is the equivalent to an adult playground where you can just walk around, plan your future home, or at least imagine it, and see the endless rooms that they have there with all of their furniture, their stationery, and even their cute stuffed animals. Look at how cute these toys are. The food court menu was a little different from the states, and they had a free book exchange section near the exit, which was a pretty cool idea. It was dinner time, so I went to a Turkish restaurant. As there's a large Turkish population in the city, there's a whole area in Cologne with Turkish restaurants, stores, and bakeries. My order was supposed to come with potatoes, but they ran out, and I'm glad it did because these were the best fries I've ever had. It was my first time trying rice pudding, and I can now say that I am a fan. And I devoured. After dinner, I passed by this Turkish bakery and wanted to step inside and they had so many different pastries, which I unfortunately did not have room for.
and I went home feeling full and satisfied. Good morning! The buses are full with people in different costumes because today is Carnival. It's a day where people dress up in different costumes, kind of like Halloween, how we have in the States. And it's just a day where people party and drink all day. This all starts at 11.11 and the streets and public transportation are full of people in costumes. As this is a big event, people from all over the country come to attend. I was on my way to meet my friends and although it was a bit hectic, I thankfully met up with them. One of my friends used her makeup and hair skills to help us blend in with the crowd. My friends and I came with the expectation of seeing the parade, but we later learned that it's in February. So we decided to grab some food and people watch. We had no idea that there wasn't going to be a parade because it was all of our first times attending. Regardless, we made the most of our time and we grabbed our curry first and palms or fries. It was a unique and cool experience and I had so much fun looking at all of the costumes that people were wearing. Then we went to a cafe to get away from the noise and we were the only ones who were somewhat dressed up in this cafe. We ordered our drinks and dessert and enjoyed the rest of our time with some sweets. Good afternoon, new day, new cafe. I don't think I've ever drank this much tea in my life, but I'm not complaining. For dinner, my friends and I went to a Thai restaurant and I ordered Pad Thai, and then we went to a new cafe because who doesn't love cafe hopping? And I ended the night with some lemonade. I saw a rainbow at work and it brightened up my day. And my friend also visited me, so we went to the mall afterwards and they had a store where they sold American snacks and drinks, which I thought was the funniest thing. They had all different types of American sweets, candy, and junk food. Then we went to the food court and grabbed some food. I'm not too sure what I ordered, but it was so good. Then we grabbed some gelato after shopping. Gelato. Good morning. Today's weather is a bit gloomy. Today my friend and I are getting a guided tour at the Fragrance Museum. But before we do, we need to grab some lunch. We came to this cute and cozy restaurant and it had good reviews. And we both ended up ordering schnitzels, which is fried pork cutlet, and some potatoes, which was very filling. We had some time to kill before our guided tour, so we came to this cafe and ordered some hot chocolates. This is the fragrance museum that dates back to 1709. This is the man that invented the cologne of cologne. And this was our tour guide who was wonderful, so humorous, and we had the tour upstairs. The guided tour was around an hour long and I would say it was pretty worth it. We had the opportunity to smell different fragrances, learn about the history, and our tour guide was so funny. Afterwards, I grabbed a couple gifts for family and friends. On the next episode, 